A national TV show highlighting Albuquerque and all it has to offer is set to be a hit. Months after the first episode aired, the Albuquerque Realtors behind it says the show Selling Albuquerque is doing exactly what they wanted it to do. News 13's Gabe Chavez has that story. Hello and welcome back to Selling Albuquerque. We are your host, Kiki and Christina Salcido. And today we're going to show you around Mesa del Sol. We told you about the Salcidos four months ago. The couple was getting ready to launch Albuquerque into the national spotlight on American Dream TV with the show's second season called Selling Albuquerque. A lot of things kind of came to light in the last, I don't know, three months or so. Since the season hit airwaves, the Albuquerque realtors say that the show has put Albuquerque on the map and their business has exploded because of it. Expanded into Las Cruces, we're looking to expand into Santa Fe, and then we just uh, locking up a deal to expand into Boston as well. They say they're receiving calls from businesses looking to plant their roots right here in the Duke City, but while their personal expansion has led them to put a slight pause on their time with the show, it's not a permanent one. I think we're definitely open. Um, the way that we left it with them was uh, it was a good problem. We got really busy with everything that's happening. Selling Albuquerque has already highlighted places like the Sandias and Mesa del Sol as well as the company Twilight Homes that builds houses here. Though they are on a temporary break from the show, they have big plans for the next episodes when they return. You know, I'd like to kind of go in with like Meow Wolf or, you know, some of the the more fun attractions that Albuquerque has to offer uh, or New Mexico has to offer because we are kind of looking to go all over the state and kind of bring in all that. Gabe Chavez, Care QE, News 13. The show Selling Albuquerque can be found on the Travel Channel as well as other streaming services.